Good morning, everyone. I'm not sure if it's a beautiful day or not. I think to be awake and have movement and be out and about and doing things is wonderful. It is cold. It's cold here in, well, not sunny Port Elliot, South Australia. It is overcast and it is just cold. At least I was able to sit here for a moment or two and listen to the magpies because they're out and about as well. So I'm Ros Bandy Psychic Medium and we're here to do the Data Venom and Card Spread reading. So good morning Holly and good morning to Kylie. <laughs> oh I am well, oh I like that photo, the um, artworky thing. Um, no I didn't get it cut, I just brushed it. <laughs> It looked really, really, I probably put a little, not lick and spit, I don't do that, but I probably did put a little bit of anointing oil in the hair a bit. So, oh, well, an oil. So <laughs> just to sort of have it behave because I'll be washing it later. I've got a swimming today or tomorrow. So, you know, I wash it after chlorine. So, and it's raining in Ontario. Ooh. Well, rain is good. We do need it. Um, it's having it at the right time that suits our program, <laughs> certainly. Good morning, Keza. Lovely to have you here. Oh, so it's Canada Day tomorrow. Yeah, every country must have something that they do like that, I'm sure. Uh, don't Well, our Australia Day is in January, I think it is, isn't it? Well, it is. <laughs> so there we go. It's Thursday there. Yes, yeah, it is Thursday there. And... You're on your evening. Good morning, Caro. Lovely to have you here too in Meningi, I presume. And good morning to Kim. Oh, you're up. You've got a day off. Oh, yes, you haven't got your little emojis for driving to work. And good morning to Kay and everyone else. Wonderful, wonderful, because Kay's next. <laughs> good morning, Kay. Mm -hmm. Missed loved ones a lot today. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. It does bring that forward sometimes, the memories. And it is lovely, though, because it means then we have loved and we do love. So I think that's wonderful. Now, I am going to go over to the cards now. I've finished, well, I haven't quite finished looking at the screen. I can see it's still scrolling. So, and yes, indeed, you're still at the Ningi. Cool. <laughs> I haven't been for a while. Um, what we're going to do is switch over. Here we go. Tune in. Tune in and it didn't switch. Tune into your spiritual connections. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. It moved. It did it now. And as you can tell, there's a lot of, um, I really must get better lighting. There is a lot of shadow with it today. But that's part and parcel of, you know, making do with what we have. I haven't bought anything special, special for doing it in the live streams. Besides, it's a fairly good computer, the Mac. Here we have our L card. It's respect is earned, honesty is appreciated, trust is gained, and loyalty is returned. So it's a beautiful card, but I like the owls anyway. So they're gorgeous, gorgeous, aren't they? But very much important sentiments. So and just be the best you in all honesty, openness, transparency, in what ways that you need to be you. Um <clears throat> Don't be someone else because you can't be. You're not. Okay, we've got the number. Oh, I was pointing off the table at this, sorry. Numbers work. So this is the numerology card that I've chosen to start using as well, a card set deck. And we have card two, which is oversensitivity. This morning I'll put my letter opener down. Uh, I haven't got my iPad in here. So number two, oversensitivity is recognize the difficulty caused by oversensitivity. So we need to have our self-awareness factors tuned in. The challenge is to be constructive and depend on your inner strength. So earlier experience reveals lessons learned. So it's bringing in what we've um, learnt over time and also like to not be oversensitive to too much. I think I've lowered my camera a bit too far. Anyway, so with that as one of the bases of what we're, you know, the energy of what we're looking at with our cards today. So look at the more inner balance of what we're going to be seeing in this spread this morning. So I, you can tell, you should be able to tell, look, see, I have got 
the fairy tale deck out this morning. I decided I will try mixing them around a bit rather than getting too boring. Although I love the Gilded Brevery. They are my favourite. I'm going to mix them around a bit. So it'll be a bit of potluck as to which one I choose for doing my readings in the mornings. So we've got the anchor in the home space. We have the sun in the work space. It's the whip as the unexpected we've got the snake in the air roll and it's the tree that's actually the outcome that pivot roll that we have there and i think it's absolutely beautiful now because these cards are feeling you i may just pick them up as we go to show you because some of them have some very interesting little hidden artistry in them so here's anchor that's if i can get the jolly things to focus properly and it doesn't want to i don't really know why it doesn't because it should um, maybe i need to look at some different quality camera too uh good morning sarah i can see you there so if, you, if this actually focuses have a look at the little faces all over the place in this one oh, i just had to get it closer can you see the woman there oh hang on i've got a point you see the woman oh, now it's gonna go fuzzy have a look. Like even I haven't set, haven't had a really, really, really close look. I'm seeing even more. And you see the artistry that's actually on the anchor itself. So you can see how with an anchor it does have itself grounding into, uh, like anchoring into a point. That point was actually sitting in, <laughs> here's me, the Virgo, the Virgo, the Virgo, <laughs> um, the point sitting into the bed of the ocean there it really is anchoring so what we're doing in our home space is digging in our heels we are going to be anchoring we are going to be feeling that stability and steadiness in our day to day so that what you can do is focus on on what you do you know and, and all of the things that are happening around you you have a much better chance in that steadiness of understanding more of the wise wherefores and what are you doing? What are you, you know, not being oversensitive to conversations, really have that steadiness and calmness in, you know, family discussions or, you know, if you're wanting to change a few things around, that you can sort it where you want them to be and not be oversensitive if something doesn't fit right in a certain space. You know, all of that sort of, it can be anything that's from that. <laughs> that um, I just saw the treasure chest <laughs> comment there. So you see a treasure chest. Oh, I'm going to have to go and have a look at that. And there we go from Sarah is the good morning from Sarah. I won't wait for the full thing. I'm just going to have to have a look now. <laughs> Where is, oh, yes, there it is. So you see the treasure chest. What does everybody see as the detail in that? case or a treasure chest was there something else that you saw let me try and focus it and it's not uh there we go it's focused what else does your mark does your eye go to i think it's gorgeous see i like that bottle i just noticed the bottle that was there um in that corner there so there's so many little itty bitty treasures in that. Now we're moving over to the sun. I am trying to do this in five, in 15 minutes, which <laughs> which gives uh, not much time left, but hey, it takes what time it does. And the sun, it is that shining light that's on our business space, on our workspace, on what we do throughout our day. So it's really, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the symbolism of the two people is in this one. I don't, as you know, I don't read the books. So, um, oh, that's a little fuzzy. Yeah, look, it's my camera is starting to wear out. I might have to get a new one that brings in quicker focusing. It's many years old now, so I really do probably need to do that. So with the sun, it really is bringing that masculine, more masculine help to the day through the day the that um male side the more productive um not productive as such the you know the the physical thinking side the practical is what i was thinking so it's that that's more obvious so um if you need help through the day certainly go ask for it as you need it that you can keep things going and that's where the whip is coming in as far as the you know that that unexpected because it does keep 
you know, there might be times where you need to actually crack the whip and get things going. Look, if there's somebody that does need to be uh, told, you need to do it gently and care and, uh, you know, um, no, it, it's not a pain thing. It's just a, see that I just saw the image there in the background. Have a look at that. There is a male face. It's almost like a genie. So bring out the magic of how you move your energy forward in the day today with that one. That's what I'm seeing in that. So there might be those times where you need that gentle masculine energy to just keep things going, to give that prod and just then cattle prod, you know, the cow prod thing just did come to mind. That's one where you did touch the cow. The whips, we didn't. It was just the sound. So just get that, get things moving, keep things moving. And if someone does take offence at things that you're saying, you know, this oversensitivity thing um, or showing them how to do things, if they do are offended that you're showing them something they think they know, just gently explain, look, it just needs to be the reminder. It's not, we need to keep things moving, that type of, uh, you know, explanation. Um, but certainly it can assist where needed. With the snake in our role, that's a, a protective, I'm feeling it's almost a protective posture, although this one is about to, it probably is about to um, welcome its dindins <laughs> because snakes do go for mice and mongoose. I don't know what that one is, um, rat, whatever. Uh, it, it almost looks like it's about to strike for its dindin. Be prepared for making use of your skills in protection mode as well as in uh, preparedness for making use of the resources that are coming your way that are available to you through the day. I think that is our role. It's almost like that preparedness, be ready to strike. And, of course, don't be too sensitive around, you know, putting that into action. It does feel like it's uh, needing to go at the drop of a hat or, you know, as you get the response and see something you're needing to do or respond to. And this is the tree, the outcome, the central. Sarah, I thought of you as soon as I brought this down because have a look at the centre of this one. Look at that. It's got a fairy, <laughs> a beautiful fairy tree. Isn't it gorgeous? Anyway, the tree being the central, like it, it really is the heart of the earth in many respects because of the way that, oh, I've just seen another face in there. Anyway, uh, it's the life of the earth. We need trees because the trees are what produces our oxygen and keeps the, um, you know, all the layers of earth functioning properly and res the, the respiration the, that, that is uh, life-sustaining, you know, it draws up the moisture from and keeps cleansing and, and drawing up the moisture from the earth as far as how it drinks and then that uh, evaporates through into the atmosphere again and continues that cycle of what is our rain. So it's the air um, air that we breathe and the water that we drink, all of that, it is central to life. And it's bringing that nurturing aspect of also the groundedness of, and what we've learned from years past of our own life, but also years past in the eons of history, bringing it forward from ancestry and all the knowledge that is history into the now. And we are we are needing to continue to learn and grow into that because it is a growing being. So, you know, even, even when a tree dies, it still, uh, it still brings forward usefulness to that next generation and the life continues, if you understand that. Yes, exactly, Sarah, like that, <laughs> that beautiful tree. Um, so good morning, Nat. So um, <laughs> I'm just seeing some of these comments. I'm just going to whiz back over to the page there. So you see the treasure chest was what Kay had mentioned and <laughs> you had that last night, did you? Was there something that you found that was like a treasure chest you're opening? I found that when um, I've been shifting. I've still got boxes I'm yet to unpack that I need to 
yeah, discover the treasure within <laughs> genie bottle. Yeah, that one. So yes, that's the one I saw too, Sandra. So it's mum, that's mum for sure. Yeah. Oh, look, it's wonderful to have the memories brought forward, isn't it? Even re reading my mind. Now, that's an interesting fact because sometimes spirit does drop little messages in that is for someone specifically that feels like it is, uh, you know, when you're giving that message out, you're reading my mind. Let it go, like as in let it let it come in as in part of that flow of what is the energies of communication and messages and all that, isn't it? So thank you, each and every one of you. I nearly got it into the 15 minutes. <laughs> there you go. They are beautiful. I think it's a beautiful tree, isn't it? So thank you, Keza, for being here, as each and every one of you are here as well for this morning's reading. Certainly let others know if you think that they'd benefit from some of the guidance that the cards will bring. Beautiful cards. Oh, you saw a cross at the top of the anchor. Now I'm going to have to go and have a look. <laughs> Let me have a look. Oh, do you know what? I can see it better if I can actually put it there. I can't see it very well. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think that's, is this the bit that you're meaning? That part as a cross. There's so many different messages within this one, isn't it? Just leave you with that. I can see an octopus with ten tentacles and beautiful shells oh look it's gorgeous i'm probably going to get lost in those for a little while i'll probably just have a bit of a wander in the sea of delight with the cards because there's so much in them isn't there so thank you to each of you yes and tonight it will be the eight. Oh, what time do i go on 7 30 yes 7 30 tonight with the uh now leanne's not going to be able to be there so it will just be me be prepared if you'd like to pop in because I'll have my guest link. I'll put that one in tonight as well and we might go through a little bit of pop luck with the card drawers that way. So be prepared if you'd like to have a camera ready on your phone and or whatever device you use. You could be in front of a computer screen like I am and you sound ready so that I can hear you. Lovely, lovely. So enjoy your day, each and every one of you. Yes, Kay, thank you. And Sandra, most of us have been raised with fairy tales, yet they are clever cards. Provokes memories, doesn't it? I love them too. I'm discovering I am, oh, like all of them. So thank you. Um, keep being the best you that you can be, and I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow morning around the 8 o'clock. Namaste.